Hey YouTube, this is Alicia. I am coming to y'all with a WWE video. Whenever I put this up, I promise y'all, y'all gonna love this video because I'm gonna be talking about a couple matches because it's a few matches I was interested in. I was interested in the, a lot of matches, but one in particular, I am so disappointed. And so we're gonna talk about, that's gonna be the last match we talk about. So let me talk about this Otis versus the Miz. So let me get this straight. Let me say this. I'm a big wrestling fan. I'm gonna say I might say something that y'all might like, but y'all need to know I keep positive result. I try to stay positive when it comes to my uh, wrestling videos. So let's get started. So let's talk about Otis versus the Miz. It was a pretty good match. I thought Otis was going to contain and keep his um briefcase but because of a interference i'm going by um what i've seen it was an interference by um um let's just say let me go this because i'm by john morrison john morrison end up interfering in thing and i just feel like the miss um Attacked him for no apparent reason. Cause he was money in the bank briefcase guy. And like I think this storyline was so I Mia mean, should have lost. Let's just put it like this. Mia should um should have lost. Miz is not my cup of tea. I like John Morrison, but Miz is just not my cup of tea. Okay, it's several reasons. I would never do a video about it and you would never see it. But he's just not my cup of tea. Having Miz picking up this win and winning the briefcase from him, what well, y'all couldn't give a timeline for him to, y'all couldn't give a, give him a timeline when y'all wanted him to show to win a to win a title. You ain't gonna let him win that um WWE title belt, and you ain't gonna let him win the Universal title belt. So y'all probably wanted him to cash it in on a lower rank, a lower rank title. Okay, he probably could have uh, cashed it in on Sami Zayn. Mm hmm. Y'all probably wanted him to cash it in on Sami Zayn, but he didn't want to cash it in on Sami Zayn. He wanted a higher title belt. He had a year to cash it in. To me, that was the. To me, it was the pinnacle of it was the let's just say the stupidest thing to do to have this guy winning back at WrestleMania and had it this long and then all of a sudden just let me take his title. That is his briefcase. This is I feel like this is not this feud is not over. And um I think something probably will happen to overturn it and give it back to me to get it back to Otis. So let me hear your thoughts. Do y'all think me should have gotten Otis money in the bank contract or do y'all think WWE is playing us right now? All right. Um Let's talk about Drew McIntyre versus Randy Orton for the WWE title belt. Now, this was a pretty interesting uh, match. And thing, I know it loud. Like I said, I went back. Drew's been champion since WrestleMania. And it was a pretty good, this was a pretty good, and I'll say a little bit gruesome match. But it was a pretty good match. I actually thought, um... I actually thought um, Drew McIntosh would contain, but Randy Orton came up with a sneak attack. Shame on you, Randy. Shame on you. Shame on you. But Drew was like a couple steps ahead of him, but I just thought this was crazy. Like, pretty pretty much crazy. But, um... I think this feud is not over. I think Drew will probably regain that title belt. 
but um, I think Randy's going to drop the title belt to somebody. I don't know who. I I know he's going to drop it to somebody, but um, this was the craziest. It was a crazy match. Let's just put it. And they was on top of it. I'm looking at pictures and they was on top of the cage fighting. But, yeah. And, but Randy Orton is the WWE champion. So, yeah. Let's see. And I, let's see. Now, let's talk about this Elias versus Jeff Hardy. Now, this Elias Jeff Hardy thing, um, I say, like, I, like, I they, I actually made a comment on Twitter saying, oh, Elias is going after the wrong person. And I really feel Elias is going after the wrong person. Yeah, you was put out for months, but hold up. Um,. You going after the wrong person and think and um I think Jeff Hardy is a phenomenal wrestler, but in this case, this match was a pretty okay match. Um they was matching each other move for move and thing and Jeff Hardy ended up coming out victorious. So I'm gonna put the question. Um, is Elias going after the right person or the wrong person? If he's going after the wrong person, who do you think he should be going after? I'm going to tell you, to me personally, I'm going to tell you who I think Elias should really be going after. He should be going after Seamus. And I'm going to give you a reason why. Seamus, all this got a lot to do with Seamus. These two would not be going after each other. If it was, if you remember that storyline that wrote um, Elias off TV and think that... That wrote him off TV. Something about that just didn't seem right. And I'm going. And when I when he came back and he attacked Jill, I'm going, you're attacking the wrong person. So let me hear from y'all. Do do y'all think Elias attacked it, the wrong person? Now let me just tell you, I don't know if this was a last minute match or what but we have Bobby Lashley versus um Slap Jack from Retribution. Now this y'all you got Bobby Lashley versus Slapjack. Now this match was pretty okay and it was for the universal title um excuse me not universal US title and um it was like it was a pretty good it was a real good match let me just literally say it was a real good match i think um slap bobby lashley and slapjack is like two competitors i can see keep going back and forth but slapjack got some pretty good moves we know who this is we already know who slapjack is really is so is it obvious? But then, um, um, it was a good match. Let me just say, it was a good match. He was c close to a win, I think. Yeah. Close to a win. And, um, but I think it was, um, this match was done by a, uh, Disqualification. I think it, it ended with a disqualification match. And, um, yeah, disqualification match and thing. And, um, because it was an interference by the other Retribution members. So, yeah. So, I mean... It was crazy, like crazy and stuff, but yeah. So now we're going to get into 
I think the one match that we only had one women match for Hell in a Cell. And that's Sasha Banks versus Bailey. Because Bailey said she didn't sign that contract. And then, in, like, last Friday, when it was on FS1, I had to go and look it up and stuff, watch the video. Sasha beat her to the pole and asked her, please sign that um, contract. I want to be. And, like, she, to me, Sasha had on all white with that blue. Okay, mommy liked it. I liked the all white with the blue. And then here comes Bailey in the black, and then she has the chair, and the chair says one dash O on the on the seat. I'm going. Okay. Okay. Sasha started to kick, and Sasha started beating. She started beating that. You know, and this. This match was a pretty good match. It's Bailey's first Hell in a Cell match. Sasha's third or fourth match. But it was a pretty good match. Move for move. And now Sasha Banks is the new SmackDown Women's Champion. Um, let's just pray and hope she has a long reign and is not shortened. Because, you know, Vince McMahon is known of shortening Sasha Banks, Sasha Banks, Sasha Banks reigns when it comes to titles. Let's think about her time when she was women's champion on Raw. Is it anybody who probably could take the title from her, but they need to, like, kind of wait and stuff? Um... It's a it's a match I do want to see, and I would I would love to see um, Sasha versus Bianca Belair for the women's title belt, but not 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 now. I mean, like that'd be a good WrestleMania event right there. Sasha um, Sasha Banks versus Bianca. Uh, that's a good main event. So yeah. Overall, I was so, when I found out that Sasha won, I'm pretty excited. I don't know. I don't think they had a, they did, I think they just only had just the SmackDown Women's title belt. And things. Let's see. Let me, because I'm going through pictures. Make sure. When the referee presented, the, let me just say, when the referee presented Sasha the belt, I was like, oh. And one of my favorite things was she put her foot on Bailey's back and held up that title belt. That was the classic. I won. Yes, she does. She has done. Now we have come to the end of the. We have came to the end, and we're going to talk about the Universal Championship match, the I Quit match. So, it's Roman Reigns versus Jay Uso, and i got a lot to say, especially when it comes to some of their family members. In particular, who came out? Who should have kept their butts in the back? Should have been nowhere near a TV, nowhere near in front of a, a camera or anything. So this match was a pretty intense match. So Jay comes out and flowers is white flowers is thrown and stuff like that because he has on all white and thing. And then I gotta tell y'all what Naomi it did when Marines come out holding up the title and this match was a pretty good match. They match each other move for moves. I mean. I, at one point, I thought Jay was going to actually beat Roman Reigns for that Universal Championship. At one point, I actually did and stuff. But, I mean, it was a pretty then the strap came out. When I think they had a strap match or what, I don't know. But... 
it was a pretty good match and stuff. I mean, I will admit it, it was a good match. The one thing I didn't like, and I'm going to tell you, was when Roman Reigns took the um, steps and put it up against Jay's head. And he ran and he kicked it. That was the one thing I did not like at all. But then trainers had to he ended up winning, but they had to um trainers had to come in and stop Roman Reigns and stuff and thing and, and it took Jimmy to come out and say, Bro, this is not this is not necessary and stuff. And he's like in the ring, he's talking to him, he's like, We can figure this out, we can figure this out. Da 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 da, and Jimmy like they like, get had hands. It was like a little bit of respect after Jimmy came out. Roman Reigns get had this like mean look on his face, and then here comes Roman Reigns, grandfather. This is where I get pissed at, where his I respect the Rock's family, but I respect it to a descent, a descent to this part. His grandfather comes out, put this lay of peppers on it. And I have to look that up what that means in the Samoan heritage. That means this person is now a tribal cat a tribal chief. Let's just put it that way. And his father and I think his grandfather or something did that and I'm going, y'all y'all know better. This is where I felt like they disrespected Jay and stuff because if Rikishi was there quick, Rikishi wouldn't have did that. And you saw Rikishi was not there. And to me, I'm calling out Roman Reigns um father and uncle. I think this is his on his uncle. Um I'm looking at pictures right now. And to me, and they just, they did, when they did that, I like felt like they disrespected. One, disrespected Rikishi. Two, disrespected Jay and Jimmy Uso as a talented wrestler. They are more talented than you think. So, I mean, that was something they shouldn't have did. So, I mean, it might not have been they they, it probably was that they didn't want to do that, but Vince McMahon wanted that. So, they was probably doing what Vince McMahon wanted. So, y'all, I want y'all thoughts of Roman Reigns' dad and uncle coming out and putting a lay of peppers on, on him and stuff like that. And think, um, and think, I just feel like... This particular um, storyline has gotten out, but I, I, the one thing I gotta talk about, um, I went on this morning looking for some reactions from certain key people. I was looking for some reactions from the The Rock. Okay, y'all gotta speed this up. From The Rock, I didn't see no answer from The Rock, Naya, or Tamina. But Naomi did respond, and she goes, she, like, addressed Roman Reigns. He goes, she goes, yo, cuz, this is not right. So, y'all, I want to hear your, your, what your opinions is on the matches that I did feature in this video. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. Bye.